Hi, welcome back. Um, in this lesson, I will make an overview of the accounting and the financial processes within Dolliver to help you better understand you can set everything in, in the right way. Um, so as we discussed first, the first step we need to do is defining the accounting journals. Define what exactly accounting journals you need to to manage your business. Let's say you need the purchase, you need the the banking, the financial journal, you need the sales journal. Define these journals and, and create them and activate them as we saw in the previous lessons. Then after that we will go and to review the the chart of accounts, to customize it, to match your business needs, to match your business elements, the customers, the products, the vendors, everything need to have an accounting account. And as you saw in the previous lesson, I attached a copy of the English-based chart of accounts that included within Dolliver. You can go through that and review it and add the accounting account that your business need and create them within Dolliver. Um, after review, defining your accounting journals, customizing the chart of accounts, loading it, finalizing it, you need to assign the accounting account codes. You will go to the, your customers, you will assign them the codes of the accounting account that you created for your vendors, for your products, for your bank accounts, for everything. So in this phase, you have created the account, you have created the codes, you assign the codes to your business elements. Now from here, we will go to the the other stage, the other phase of setting up our accounting module within Dolibar. The next step is to assign your bank accounts and financial accounts uh, to the proper journal, accounting journal. Let's say the cash, the cash uh, financial accounts need to be, for example, assigned to the sales. And as we saw in the previous lessons, how when we created the bank accounts and how to modify it, if you we, if we go and modify it there, you will find the the option where to assign this financial account to the journal to the accounting journal. So every every entry of this bank account or this financial account will be logged into the the proper accounting journal. And by doing that, we are sure that everything is going in the right direction. Then after that, we will set up the default accounting accounts as we saw in the, in the accounting setup. We will assign the default accounting accounts. And as we discussed in the previous lesson, um, the default accounts Dolibar will use in case that your, your, let's say, product does not have an accounting account. Um, and does not have a code within it, within the page, Dolibar will use this default account to log the transactions for that, for that customer, for that product, whatever, into this um, default account. After that, we will link invoices. We saw how to, in the previous lessons, we saw how to bind the invoices. Every line of every invoice should be linked to its um, accounting journal and to be bind so Dolipar can process the financial financial information and give us our reports. And we saw in the previous lesson how to do that through the admin menu or the user menu. After doing all these things, finally we will come to write the transactions into the ledger and we can do that by journalization in the menu as we saw before. After writing your transactions into journals, this will allow you to export your financial data, to have your ledger, your account balance, to have the reports, everything related to your financial transaction along business elements, the customer, the vendors, the users, the expense report, the salaries, whatever was logged in the right way it will appear in your reports and by that you can manage your business in the right way and in a better way. So I hope this was like um, a help for you to better understand how the accounting module within Dolibar works and how to set it up in the right way, how to minimize the errors and the 
and and have a better outcomes using Dolipar to to manage your business, to manage your financial transactions, and to have a better reports for your business. Thank you.